Let's take a look at the Import and Export options in Spectral Layer Pro 7. You can select any layer, let's just select this blue layer here, and edit that selected layer in the third-party applications like New Window 10.3, for example, or WaveLab Pro 10. So if I select Edit in WaveLab Pro 10, SKIT-C will automatically open WaveLab Pro 10 and open the selected file. If I use WaveLab, you can see that the uh, selected file very much looked like the file we just exported in Spectral Layer 7. Now you can also just quit this, export the selected layer. So if I want to export the selected layer here, I can say blue layer, for example, and I'm going to put this in desktop, 32-bit float, and just, for example, import audio as layer. So for example, if I want to import that blue layer, I just export it. I can just select that blue layer and open that blue layer. You can see that blue layer here, which is the same layer that I export earlier. I'll just undo this. You also have the option to export audio of all layers. And what this is going to do, if we put it on the desktop here again, save 32-bit float. It will save every single layer separately. So now if I go back to import audio as a layer, go back to desktop, as you can see, exported each layer independently that I have listed here. Another option is to export audio as project. And if you do this, it is essentially final. Just desktop here, and I can save this. It will ask me what format I want. Just click OK. And if I go back and open, I can see my final layer here, open it here. And as you can see, I've got the same file that I exported as one file.